As usual, something that I like to do, I like to share uh, some things with you. Um, well, actually, I, I was thinking about when I was a uh, little boy having a call at the time where I was growing up in Berry Farms, how we used to have little vendors to come by and they would come around and give away um, free bread and uh, uh, potatoes and produce. And I recall, I remember my mother and all her girlfriends running out and going to the truck and going back and forth to the truck and they would just load up, you know, on, 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 on that food, amen. And then when they would get back, they would go knock on other neighbors' door. Did you hear about the truck? They got trucks over there giving away potatoes and produce and, you know, things like that. And, you know, they was excited, you know, and they didn't keep the information to themselves because they wanted somebody else to be blessed. Amen? So they would go, to, I mean, everybody that came in contact, hey, go over some of the road. They have a truck over there, and they are giving out free food. And as I thought about, the word of God. And I, I'm like, that's how it should be in ministry. You know, uh, you know to share uh, so others can benefit from God's generosity. Amen? And, I, and, I, and one of the things about me, I love talking about the promises and benefits of God. And, and there is no other, I found out that there is no other place that can compare to heaven and life eternity. Amen. And so is anything uh, uh, greater than that? Uh, are you telling me that free bread, potatoes, and produce is more uh, 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 exciting and much better than eternal life? Uh, 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 because if it is, oh my God, I mean all of the excitement that was generated when they was getting the free food, you would think that it would be triple time, that excitement about hearing about the word of God, about the kingdom of God and the promises of God. And the, where is the excitement? Who's spreading the news? And uh, uh, the, the news that heaven doors is awaiting uh, to receive those who believe. And so I wanted to share that little nugget with you because I think it's very important that we share the gospel, the good news. We don't want to keep this thing all to ourselves. We ain't trying to be selfish, amen. Don't you, don't you want somebody else to go to heaven? Amen. So share the good news. Share the word with them. Of course, you have to be excited about it, right? <laughs> you have to be excited. But I mean, I, wish, I, I, I can still see the look on their face to come in with those bags. And my mom used to, used to tell us, call us, Harold Lee, Harold Lee, Carl, Timothy, Timothy, come on and help me carry this stuff. Come up to this truck. <laughs> yes, indeed. We used to Get those things. So let's get excited about the kingdom of God and, 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 and tell people about the kingdom of God, the promises of God. You know, not to just to go out and recruit them and say, come to my church. Tell them about the kingdom of God and what God has to offer, right? Okay? Let them, I mean, they can go to some, somebody's church, anybody's church, but tell them about the kingdom of God and, and, and where they can go to find this great salvation. That's what we have to do. Amen. Amen. Is that okay? Let's spread the news. Let's spread the news. We ought to get excited. Amen. Amen. I remember when Jesus, I'm reading in the scriptures, when Jesus would heal someone, they would get excited. They would run all over town and say, ah, oh, that man over there, he was walking down the street, and all of a sudden, he began to pray for people, and people was blind, and their eyes opened, and they were sick, and they was delivered, set free. And then, who is this man? This man, they called Jesus of Nazarene. You got to spread the news. You got to be excited. Tell people what's going on. Amen. And like I said, not just say, come to my church. No, tell them about the kingdom of God. Don't tell them about your church.
right now a part of the body of Christ. We must remember that although these children may be lost, it is our job as believers to find them and bring them back to their shelter. I need your help to reach back into our communities and to save our children. As a mother of two black boys in this country, I want them to learn how to love God first so that they can live a life of joy and peace. I want them to make good decisions in a world that teaches them that there's nothing more to life than fast money, cars and clothes. I want to save our children. I want them to come back home, to be one with Christ as they were created to be. I ask that you join us in prayer for our youth. Father God, we stand before you, unworthy but willing to serve your people, O oh God. We ask that you give us the strength that we need especially for your children, oh God. The innocent, the ones who deserve to know you, oh God. The ones who deserve salvation, oh God. We ask that you use us as a tool, oh God, to extract whatever the devil has placed in their lives as a distraction, as an obstacle, oh God. We ask that you use us to remove those things, Father God, whatever is hindering them, from loving you with a whole heart and serving you with a whole heart. Oh God, we ask that you remove every block, Father God. We ask that you uplift them and keep them, oh God. Sustain them and order their steps, dear Lord. In a world full of hatred and chaos and confusion, oh God, we bind those spirits in the name and in the blood of your son, Jesus the Christ. Father God, I stand before you as a mother begging you, oh God, to have mercy upon our children. For the mothers who don't know how to pray, oh God, I come and I stand in their behalf. For the fathers who don't know how to pray, oh God, I come and I stand in their behalf. For the grandparents who are praying, oh God, for their children and for their children's children, oh God, we stand in their behalf. We stand with them, oh God, acknowledging that it is only you who can save us. Father God, hear the cries of your people. We ask that you touch each and every child, oh God, who may come across this ministry, who may walk past this church building, oh God. We ask that your Holy Spirit, oh God, shake them and move them into the direction that you would have them to go, oh God. We ask that you, oh God, save them from the hands of the enemy, oh God. We ask that you right now deliver them from whatever it is that they're going into at school, oh God, at home, oh God. We ask that you reach down, oh God, from your throne and you take your babies back into your warm embrace, oh God, that this cold world may not be able to destroy them and bring them down no longer, oh God. We claim freedom, we claim victory, we claim peace, peace in the name of Jesus, Father God. We claim these things in the name of your son, in the blood of Jesus, oh God. We ask that you touch each and every person watching this ministry, oh God. Move in their lives, oh God. Put it in their hearts, oh God. Bless their finances, oh God, that they may be able to sow a seed into this ministry, oh God. We ask that you have your way in all of our lives. And when you come again, oh God, we ask that you save us, oh God. That we may hear those beautiful words well done, thy good and faithful son. Now enter into thy rest. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let the church say, amen. We ask that you please donate, give. If God has placed it in your heart, whatever he's placed in your heart, we ask that you give to our future. Here at A Touch of Grace Ministries, we want to sow a seed into the lives of young people. You can go to PayPal right now and donate with the email address, castleridgemusicgroup at gmail.com. Or 
you can be directed to haroldsutton.com where there is a link and you are able to donate to the PayPal account for this ministry, which is a Touch of Grace ministry. Again, you can go to haroldsutton.com or directly to PayPal, Castle Ridge Music Group at gmail.com. We thank you and we are praying for your deliverance. We are praying for your healing. We are praying that God continues to bless you and your family. Most importantly, we love you. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Today is an amazing day for us and it's a prayer day. As Pastor Harold said a few minutes ago, we are dedicating this service to the upliftment of God's people. We know that there's a need. We know that we've been called by God to do this great work. And so we come together as a body of Christ, asking the community that listens to reach out and be a stronghold to help lift up this ministry. And as we go before the throne of grace and mercy, we invoke the power of God to reach out and to bless his people, to remind us that we are his and his alone, not because we're worthy, not because we're so good, but because we absolutely love him with all of our hearts, souls, and minds. So bow with me now as we pray a prayer of thanksgiving, and a prayer of faithfulness. Lord God, you said in your word that you would move mountains. You said in your word that we need but ask you, and you would provide for us. And so God, it is the ministry we come now, and we ask you to open up and to bless us financially so we can continue to bless your people we know that you own the houses and the lands we know that you own the universe and we know that this financial situation is but a small part of what you can do so God we ask you to bless us manifest yourself in the hearts of of the people that listen to this broadcast today. Help them to know that they are sowing a seed so that others may know of your goodness and your mercy. Let them know that God, you need them to join hands with us and to be a part of this ministry, to partner with us, God. We cannot stand alone. We cannot do this alone. But you said in your word, we need but ask. And so God, we ask the people of God, as they listen to this ministry, we ask those that are struggling, who are not yet in a ministry, but are being blessed by this ministry, God, we ask you to bless their hearts. Touch their hearts, God, that they will know and that in doing this, they are sowing a seed and blessing those who may not come to you, but through this ministry. So God, we bless your name. We honor your name. All that we have need, God, all we need to do is trust in your word. Bring your word back to you, God. And you said, I will honor, I will honor my word. And so we bless your name, God. So great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness, God. We love you. We adore you. We magnify your name, God. We lift up your name and we bless others so that they will glorify your name. For in all things we give thanks. In all things we magnify your name. For you own everything. We bless your name, God. And we bless your people. In Jesus' name, I always pray. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Praise the Lord and welcome to a touch Praise of grace ministries. And I'm so glad. Let me just say happy Sabbath to everybody. Sabbath. Jackie, I'm so glad to be here on today. I'm so glad. Amen. You know, today is a little sp special. Uh, we'll approach the service a little different on today. You know, normally we go into our praise and worship segment mm -hmm. uh, uh, before we go into the preach word. Uh, but today I'm, I'm felt in my spirit that there's a need, uh, a need of prayer uh, 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 in, our, in our community, for our communities. Amen for our country and amen. most of all for this ministry That's this right. ministry has come under attack amen and, uh, and i'm telling you the best way to handle uh, attacks especially when it comes a uh, uh, demonic attacks amen uh, i mean i was taught prayer is the answer amen. i was i was taught the prayer right. is the answer and uh, and uh, you know right now we're going through a lot in this ministry, we are, we know we're doing a lot of wonderful things, and the, and the enemy is mad. Yes. Amen. The enemy is mad, and I yes. want you to know I'm, I thank God for the support, supporters that we do have. Amen. Amen. Right. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. Our uh, things are a little tight with the ministry yes. financially because we are small, smaller numbers, That's but we right. do so many wonderful things for our community. Yes, we do. And uh, so what we're doing, we're asking, we 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 want to pray for this ministry that God sustained the life of this ministry Amen. because uh, this ministry is needed. That's right. This ministry is needed. And we just, not only are we going to pray, uh, pray for the lifeline of this ministry, but we're going to pray for this community. We're going to pray for you, my brothers and sisters that Amen. I know uh, that's in a, a vineyard that's working and laboring, uh, doing what we're doing. Amen. I talked to several pastors and they say, uh, Harold, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I may have to close the doors because we're not getting the financial support that we need to maintain the ministry. And so we're going to lift other, other ministries around the country because Amen. they're going through the same thing that we're going uh, through. Amen. But I Amen. believe that God is going to supply That's every right. every yes. need. He yes, says, he just ask, he Amen. just say ask. If we touch ask. and agree That's right. that it shall be done amen. amen and that's what we're going to that's what we're going to do today we're going to start the segment off and we just want to pray and uh uh just you know just lay before the lord the things that we need he said just ask, ask. and that and that's what we're going to do you know, yes 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 and uh, so right now, even in this trying time, uh, it's just not the time to get upset and, and uh, alarm set in. This is the time where we draw closer to him. Because you know what? When God, right. If God called you for the work, he's going to make provision yes, for make provision. the work. Yes, Amen. Yes. And so, so I'm asking God to draw my spirit even closer yes. to him. Yes, although my doubt, my, my faith may be wavering a little because of the, the burden and, and the weight that we're carrying. Oh, right. and then so I need to I need him to draw a little I need I need to draw a little closer amen. to him where he can lift my spirit amen amen, amen. amen. will y'all pray with me out there father we thank you once again we thank you for your love we thank you for your kindness we thank you for being our God. We thank you for even choosing us to do such a work. We're not a church. We are ministry cell. We are part of your word, an extension of your word that we share with the world. Not our words, not our faith, not our religion. But the gospel of Jesus Christ is what we're spreading around the world. And Lord, these are difficult times for this ministry. For we walked in obedience. Yes, we have people to come by and we have folks to sow. But God, you know it's not enough. So God, I need you to open the door for us. We're not concerned with numbers, oh God. We just need sustainability so we can carry on the work that you had called us to do. So we look to the hill for what cometh our help. Our help cometh from you, God, who made the heavens, who made the earth, 
who made the seas, who made the trees, who made everything. God, we know that you're able, that you can. Make a way out of no way. Open doors, open windows, touch people's hearts. Let them know that they, will, they are sowing in good ground. Touch their mind, oh God. And most of all, God, we ask you, God, to continue to, to let your Holy Ghost power flow, permeate throughout this place where healing will take place, where deliverance may take place, where salvation may be given to those who are lost. God, we ask this not of ourselves, but it's because of the love you've given to us. To reach out to your people yes, Lord. to share with them the good news yes, the gospel to share with them about the gift of eternal life we don't want to keep it to ourselves God but we want to share it with the world but God sometimes it gets so hard we need you now God we need you oh God we need you oh God touch right now but we know that you're able in the name of Jesus we pray amen to you who are listening you're looking at us right now we want to make a plea we want to make a plea would you be a blessing to a touch of grace ministries yes Lord let the Lord speak to your heart let the Lord speak to your heart right now. We're not going to ask you for a particular amount. Let God speak to you. Ask God, God, what should we sow to this ministry? Amen. And be a blessing to this ministry so we can continue to bless others. You can send your love gift to 1907 Columbia Avenue, Landover, Maryland, 20743 is 20743. Will you do that? Will you partner with us? Yeah. And let me tell you something. Uh, uh, but they don't know, uh, Jackie, what we do here at the church, we, 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 we don't do the membership thing. Because it's about whosoever will. You know, you come. We don't want you to be tied up on, on, on your, where we need your name on the roll. We want folks who are going to serve. We, the gospel is, is free. Ministry. It's free. It's free. And so what we do, we want people who have a heart for people, people who have a, a heart to serve, to give. So we come here faithfully every week. And, uh, you know, we have visitors to come visit us. And, we, you know, we, we give them an invitation to, to not to join the ministry, but to join the kingdom. Amen. Amen. To join Amen. the kingdom. You know, to give God your heart. Amen. And, and that's what we do. You know, we introduce you to him. Mm -hmm. But we don't put your name on. We don't put their names on a roll and say you're a member of the church. No, no, no. You, you, you're just a gift to the body of Christ who is serving in the capacity where God has blessed you to serve. And so that's what we act. We, we just have partners. We have partners. And it just it costs to do what we are doing. It costs lots of money. And, I, and, and we, most of the time, uh, we're coming out of our pockets, our personal monies. But we cannot continue to do this. We have a benevolence where we bless people. We're not blessing people out of church money or from offerings or tithes that are given. Uh, we're blessing people out of our own pockets. Amen. Amen. Because our ministry is not like that. It's not designed. It's not designed as yet. But when God sent who he wants to send to be a blessing to his people, then he can do just that. But right now, it's just a few of us. Doing this kingdom work, and there's no shame in my game. I'm I, I'm not full of pride, amen. I, I, and I'm not begging. I'm just I'm just asking. Amen. Many of you watched our ministries. If you've been blessed by our ministries, take the time and send us a love gift. Amen. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to put it in the mail. Why don't you just do this? Why don't you just go uh, and, and you can send it to PayPal, my PayPal account. All you have to do is go to uh, Castle Ridge. Music Group 
at gmail.com. That's it. You can go, go when you go to PayPal, PayPal, just put in my email address, Castle Ridge Music Group at gmail.com, and the donation will go straight here to our ministry. Our ministry is under Castle Ridge Music Group. Uh, that's, that's our mother company uh, with what we're doing. Everything goes under Castle Ridge. So, yes, you don't even have to put it in the mail. Just go right now. PayPal.com, okay, right. PayPal.com, and just a send a donation, a, a, a love gift, uh, and uh, like I said, our uh, 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 email address again is Castle Ridge uh, uh, Music Group at gmail.com. Let me spell that for you. C-A-S-T-L-E-R-I-D-G-E Music, M-U-S-I-C Group, G R O U P at gmail.com. Would you plant a seed? Would you sow? You're sowing into a good seed, good ground, good Amen. ground. Amen. Amen. And you can go to YouTube and put, you know, we record all of our services, Jackie. I know. We record all our services, and you can go to YouTube and find all of our services. Free of charge. We don't charge for ministry. Amen. Free Amen. of charge. Amen. But it costs to do what we do. We have camera people uh, that, uh, that, that we, 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 we saw through their life, give them love, give, let, them, let them know that we appreciate them. That's you know, we have, we have a staff. So we need your support. Amen. We yes. need your support. Yes. Will you support us on today? Thank you.